Hi, welcome back. In this class, we will see a multiplication of numbers with uh, ones. For example, let's start with 35 into 11. The most common way that we typically do this is 35, 35, we'll write it like this because we know that's how it ends up when we multiply these numbers. For so 5, 385 is the answer. Okay, so uh, this is a good approach as long as we have these digits to be uh, like maybe two or three or something. But as it increases more, it becomes really difficult. For example, if somebody asks you 75 into 1111, then typically what happens is you have to write this four times like this. Right? You have to write it four times and do this five and then two like that you have to, you have you get the point so you have to do that addition across okay but uh, with basic mathematics there is a good technique to do multiplications of in such scenarios fairly faster than the traditional technique uh, but as i said for the smaller numbers you may feel both are the same or you may even feel the traditional method is faster but for the larger numbers uh, the Vedic mathematics technique will come in really handy so for example let's try some numbers now yeah yeah say for example 353 is 111 okay the Vedic mathematics method is put the first three at the end and add the numbers until there are number of digits. For example, three plus five. Next, add three plus five. So that will be eight. Next, add three plus five plus three. That is 11. So you put one and you put one in carry. So remember, we have one in carry. Now, since there are three ones and you have added three of the digits you now move from three to five even if there was no even if there was another digit over here you would still move it as in this example there is no other digit so we move but even if there was a digit you will still move to five from three so five plus three is eight and remember we have one and carry so it becomes nine okay and then after 5, 5 plus 3, there is nothing else. So you move 1 to the left side. And therefore, it, and that is just only 3. So it becomes 3, 9, 1, 8, 3 is your answer. Okay. Now, in a traditional method, the way you would do it is 3, 5, 3, 3, 5, 3, and 3, 5, 3. You will add them 3, 8, 1, nine three nine one eight three this is also this also feels faster but as the ones start increasing basic maths technique will have an edge it will be much faster so we'll see some other uh, problems and you'll understand the difference See, let's start with uh, let's take some number a smaller number uh, let's do that so that you get a hang of it 479 into 11 okay so you put 9 9 plus 7 is 16 6 and 1 is in carry remember 1 is in carry since there are two numbers and you are done with 7 plus 9 you now move from 9 to 7 so 7 plus 4 is 11 you have 1 in carry, so you, you say 12, 1 in carry. 7 plus 4 you have already done, so 4 is left. So 4 will come in, but you have 1 in carry, so it will be 5, 2, 6, 9. So 5, 2, 6, 9 is your answer. So just check it with your traditional method. 9, 16, 12, and 5. Okay, 5, 2, 6, 9. Okay. 
let's see now let's take a bigger number and you will get an understanding of how the Vedic maths method was is superior say six two double four one 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 okay now in your traditional method you have to do six two double four six two double four six two double four six two double four okay and then add all of them like four eight ten okay nine and eight seventeen right you have to add you get the point okay now look at the vedic maths method four because now you add four plus four eight four plus four eight plus two zero and you have one and carry remember and then you have 16 so you have seven okay now since you're since you've exhausted all of them all of the four because there are four ones you have exhausted four numbers now you move to four from this four to you go to this four so four plus two plus six plus six twelve you have one and carry right so it will be three one and carry is still there okay and now you go to six to four is exhausted so you go to two so six plus two is eight and now we have one and carry so nine and six plus two is exhausted so you go to six okay and you have finally it is only six so six nine three seven zero eight four is your answer this is far this is much faster once you practice it compared to your traditional technique so let's do one more problem say let's take a number seven four two one 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 now again you will have to do seven four two one seven four two one this is your traditional method seven four two one seven four two one okay and then you add it one three seven you get the point over here one one plus two three one plus two plus four seven 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 7 so 4 14 4 and 1 carry okay 1 is in carry now you move from 1 to 2 2 plus 4 6 6 plus 7 13 13 plus 1 you will have 1 of carry 14 so you have still 1 carry now you will have now you move from 2 to 4 so 4 plus 11 4 plus 7 is 11 okay uh, and 1 is in carry one is in carry so it will be one twelve one carry okay and then finally you have seven and therefore it will be eight two double four seven three one so this will be the answer okay as you practice this more uh, and also as you have more and more ones uh, the vedic maths uh, method uh, comes turns out to be far more superior uh, if it is only 11 or maybe even for one 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 you will be probably able to do with the traditional method to fairly quickly okay so this is uh, one of the most useful uh, uh, techniques of vedic maths and uh, in the next class we'll cover uh, more such tricks thank you